First thing we're going to do today is fire up our wood fired oven. We're going to stack hardwood logs into a log cabin type structure in the doorway of the oven with an opening in the bottom of the structure for kindling. We then push the entire wood structure back into the center of the oven dome and add a couple more logs on top. In total, I have 10 logs stacked up here. Light the kindling and wait for the rest of the wood to catch. The oven will take about an hour and a half to get to pizza temperature, and we're going to want to keep the fire nice and big for the entire hour and a half. I usually add about two or three logs every 30 minutes or so. Everyone's oven is different though, and depending on the type of wood you use, heating your oven might not be the same as mine. It's a little over an hour later now and at this point we still got a pretty good fire going and the oven is about ready for pizza. When the entire dome of the oven is completely white, all the soot has burnt off the dome and that means the oven is fully heated to over 900 degrees. Being right handed, I find it easier for the pizza to be on the right side so I move all the logs and coals to the left side of the oven. I also like to spread out a couple coals around the edge of the other side of the oven to keep some heat over there. The pizza is baked directly on the hearth of the oven, so we brush the floor to keep it nice and clean. The oven is basically ready for pizza at this point. The floor of the oven is going to be too hot for pizza right after moving the coals, and if you throw a pizza in there right away, it's just going to burn the bottom before the top is baked properly. So I like to let the oven sit like this for about 10 or 15 minutes to let the temperatures even out a little bit. We'll be making a pretty classic Neapolitan pizza today. There are a ton of recipes out there for wood-fired Neapolitan pizza, so I'm not going to spend too much time on my specific measurements. The dough is made from just flour, water, salt, yeast, and olive oil. We use the blue bag of Caputo Double Zero flour in the dough, which is best for wood-fired ovens and all-purpose flour for dusting. Using the slap technique, we shape the dough until it's about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. We then place the dough on a wooden pizza peel. Many people make the entire pizza on the countertop and then move the completed pizza to a peel, but I find it more comfortable to just make the pizza directly on the peel. The tomato sauce is just uncooked San Marzano tomatoes mixed with salt and blended for like one second. If you blend it too long, it becomes too thin. Add extra virgin olive oil, some parmesan, and then throw some buffalo mozzarella on there. You don't need a lot of mozzarella on this pizza, and it doesn't really have to be neat. Just throw it on there. A lot of people add the basil after it's baked, but it really just comes down to personal preference. I like the basil baked, so I throw it on now. Personally, I love cherry tomatoes on my margarita pizza, but this ingredient is optional really. Some people call this pizza a margarita extra. Now we take our pizza outside and slide it right into the center of the hearth. After about 90 seconds, we have a perfectly baked Neapolitan style pizza margarita.